hello friends how are you guys today we have something new to unbox and uh, which is a photo paper variety paper from the house of canon so this is a printer paper this is a photo printer paper that we have uh, uh, today we have bought it from uh, incredible connection as i will show you so this is a canon pixma uh, pixma photo paper printer it's a inkjet photo paper and it is uh, 19 rands at incredible connection the whole package contains four sizes or four uh, 20 sheets which are in uh, 10 into 15 centimeter in high gloss then we have the other paper in semi gloss and then we have a matte uh, matte a4 size paper five and then glossy uh, five sheets so basically the whole thing is uh, 19 rands and it has 20 sheets and photo paper variety pack is his name and then this is made by canon so uh, we are going to check check the this is a sealed pack so we are going to um, cut it open now for you to see and then i will also show show you the various uh, prints that i have taken using the using this photo paper so it will tell you that uh, this the first one is photo paper plus glossy it's a high quality high gloss finish then we have a matte photo uh, paper which is everyday quality high brightness and vivid clear images uh, it's in a4 size then the other one is photo paper plus semi gloss it's a high quality satin finish and then in the end we have this glossy photo paper everyday use uh, which is also in a4 size so the overall package uh, this is made in germany and uh, some of the papers are made in japan so basically this is the whole package that we have uh, bought from uh, incredible connection and though the price is written as 19 rands online it is available for 11 rands and uh, at some of the stores only and then uh, i got it for 9 rands so for 9, 9 rands for for a 20 20 sheets is really cheap so i'll show you as to what all the package contains so one by one we have this manual first it says about power to your next step get creative with your pixma software so they are talking about some software way by which you can create your own arts calendars paper craft photo galleries collages and more so uh, in this they are talking about how to install and uh, do various stuff um, uh, from the canon creative park premium so this is a because this is a canon printer canon uh, uh, printer paper so they are talking about canon so putting this aside we have these um, two kind of paper one is photo paper plus as I told you and photo paper plus glossy so if you check out the sizes of these ones this is 260 gram per meter square and this is a uh, 265 gram per meter square so this is this is a little bit thicker than this one so that's how the sheet is and then um, um, then the thing looks like they are really promoting a creative park and um, then they are talking about the paper and everything so these are five five sheets in um, uh, four is to six inch kind of paper which is a regular photo prints so moving further to so this one this is a matte photo paper and it's in 170 gram per meter square uh, it's a it's a sheet uh, of matte paper and then um, they are also here also they are promoting creative park and in the end we have the five sheets of 200 gram uh, per meter square so this is a glossy paper which is going to give a very nice photo finish and i will show you as well as to how the paper looks like and also how the paper looks once printed so if we open this one so you will see the paper is really really you know shiny and then uh, canon is written on the back so so that you know that which side is the main side so this is how the paper in glossy paper looks like let's go to the matte paper in the matte paper you have to identify which side looks much brighter and the other side looks a little bit yellower so um, so you will find out that there are two sides one of the sides is looking much more bright or bluish and then the other side will look kind of a yellow so in this one they have also given a uh, instruction manual for matte photo paper so this side is little bit uh, yellowish as compared to this side which is like a little bit bluish so the so this is the main side on which you are going to print your photographs similarly if we open these uh, photo paper plus semi gloss we are going to see some of the paper quality and then here also on the back canon is written and on the top you have this uh, uh, semi gloss kind of paper it's not look high gloss 
so we'll compare it with the uh, glossy plus paper now and uh, you will see on this one canon is also written on the back but this is much more glossier you will see that this is much more glossier as you can see the reflection as compared to the this one which is less glossy so if you if you see you will see that there is a little bit of uh, plastic thin kind of uh, thing coming and on this one is there is no so even if even the touch and feel is different on both these papers so that's how the paper looks like so now let me show you some of the photo prints that i have taken on these papers so to show you some of the papers or uh, the photo prints on these papers you will see the quality on this paper is really nice so this this one is a um, semi gloss paper which i showed you photo paper plus semi gloss as it has much less reflection and then i will show you the glossy one you will be able to see the reflection and everything on this one so that's how the uh, prints are looking and they are looking really nice this is a semi gloss then this is also a semi gloss this is also a semi gloss and this is a glossy one as you will be seeing from the reflections this is also a glossy one this is also a glossy one and this is a semi gloss so uh, as you can see the photographs and photo quality on this paper is really nice so this is really worth um, uh, getting all your photographs printed if if you can find these uh, papers from incredible connection for uh, nine rands only so now let's go to the bigger ones talking about the matte photo print this is a photo printed of my son on a matte photo print as you will see this is like uh, less glossy but it looks really nice and cool in this a4 size and on the back there is no canon written and this is the yellow side and this is the bluish side so after the photo printing the whole photo looks uh, really nice as you can see it looks really nice and then you can put them in any of those you know uh, where you want to display you can uh, get it framed and everything so this is how the paper of matte photo paper looks like now let's go to the other one and if we talk about the glossy paper uh, generally when i take print the photographs i put them in this kind of uh, uh, plastic case so that uh, you know they are protected from uh, uh, from your hand prints and everything so this photograph was taken at the uh, at a launch event and then this is a photograph taken using the mobile so that's why it's not the noise is there a little bit though this is a, a glossy on a glossy paper and you will see the canon written on the back so but this was photograph was taken using a mobile that's why there is pixelation and this is uh, old photograph uh, that i took at line and dino park and uh, this one was taken using some other mobile or camera i don't remember but uh, this is also the photograph that i printed so this one looks really nice you know you can directly get it framed so this is how the whole paper thing and everything looks like and uh, if you have any questions regarding this paper or any kind of printing uh, uh, in canon printers do let me know and we are very near 2000 mark and with your help only we are going to reach there so thank you very much for subscribing to our channel and uh, watching our videos your view video your views are our only blessings thanks a lot bye bye